Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I am working on a new watercolor painting. This is something a little different for me. I'm doing a wildfire, including wildlife. And uh, what inspired this painting was last week when I was in Idaho. I don't know if you watched the uh, video vlog I just did of Idaho, but at the very end there's a lightning storm. And um, apparently that same lightning storm started over 20 fires in the valley. And um, they were all uh, less than 20 acres. So I, um, last I heard the firefighters uh, had them all under control. And uh, so nothing to worry about. Uh, but um, it's a, the whole Rocky Mountain and entire Western United States um, is getting very uh, versed in uh, wildfires. Um, it's unfortunately a big problem and uh, so I'm used to also having uh, seeing a lot of smoke and fires um, in uh, near our ranch and uh, so um, just that and the um, the drama that it can cause with the wildlife uh, maybe you've seen some of the photography of bears up in trees and uh, animals fleeing and uh, animals even in the water and uh, things like that. So those are the things that inspired this painting and I thought it would also be fun. I've been kind of interested in painting uh, some kind of animated wildlife. So this would give me an opportunity to do that and kind of tell a story at the same time. So there's a lot going on here. Another thing that I was interested in doing was painting fire. So uh, that had something to do with it as well. And this is my first attempt and there are some things I like about it and some things that I didn't like about the results I got. So I will uh, share more of that with you uh, through this uh, video. Now um, just trying to get the main details of the animals because those are going to be most important as far as uh, being able to see what they are so I'm penciling all those in. Uh, but very loosely. I mean, they don't really have faces or anything like that, except for the owl and uh, the ones that are looking straight at you. Uh, the rest are so tiny, they're almost stick figures. So here's the first wash, starting with the lighter colors, which would be the fire, obviously, so the, the reds and yellows. Um, just trying to put those in here and uh, we've got some mountains behind us so I have a little bit of fire beyond a couple of the mountains. I'm putting a few uh, tree trunks in the foreground and now in the area that's dry still I'm going to go ahead and paint in some of these little animals. And because the details are uh, really fine. I need to make sure that I'm only painting in areas that are dry so that I'm not uh, making just blobs of water or paint. But again, they're almost like silhouettes, so uh, that makes it easy and kind of adds to the drama of the whole scene. This also gave me an opportunity to uh, work on some action shots of deer running. I have a lot of photographs from when I was in Idaho last week of antelope and deer actually running. Uh, I shared a few of the antelope, but I also have a lot of white-tailed deer that were running around. And um, of course, they were running in a different style. I think they were a lot happier than they would be in this picture. And they were running through tall grass, so they were kind of leaping. So um, this is a little different, but it's still kind of the same idea. Now, these are some osprey up there. I have some uh, bald eagles over on the other side. I try to make a howling coyote or wolf, but uh, you can't really tell that he's howling. Uh, so that's something that maybe I need to work on is uh, painting wolves.
All right, I'm just uh, putting in a little bit of the mountain in the background. And I've come back. I was working through this throughout the entire day. So I'm uh, after letting some of the areas, especially where the wildlife animals uh, are, I've let them dry now so I can kind of paint around them and not worry about them running around all over the place and losing their shape. Adding a little more of the red and just uh, some more of the the flames uh, so they were kind of more yellow at the base of the flames and getting orange near the tops of them and then I'll also add some smoky uh, layers uh, here in the foreground I'm adding a little bit of green uh, some area that hasn't caught on fire yet And then trying to make a little bit of atmosphere of sky and smoke in the background. This is all watercolor, but at the very end, I do use a little gouache on the uh, owl because his wing was just too transparent and the flames show through his wings. So I decided to put some gouache on that. And I also used actually some dark uh, brown gouache in the smoke at the very end. And uh, because I have some purple, purpley uh, smoke here, but I feel like it needs a little more soot in it. So I add some sepia uh, gouache. And also I think a few gouache trees and then also some orange watercolor trees. Anyway, this is the first uh, tr attempt. I'm going to do several more, including larger ones. This one's only an eight by 10 size. I plan to do some larger ones. What I liked about this painting is I love the colors. I love the animals and the action and the drama in this uh, scene. I also like, um, yeah, just, the way everything has come together. The thing I would like to improve upon is I laid this flat because my maple panel is very large, but if I could tilt it and because the uh, fires, uh, I think if it had more of a drip effect, it would be even more dramatic than uh, right now it's more puffy uh, because of the way it pooled while it was flat. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, uh, leave a thumbs up.